Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Tanisha, with Tea Cooks with Flav. Today we're in the kitchen and we are gonna be making some stew peas, Jamaican style. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so as I mentioned before, we're gonna be making some stew peas, tea cook style. I um, already showed you everything that we are going to be um, using today. First thing you wanna do is go ahead, go ahead and add your beans. I uh, try to get the red kidney beans, the extra red ones, the small ones. I already have some preheated uh, water here, so we're just gonna go ahead and add. I might need more water, but at least it will get the pot bubbling really quick. You're gonna go ahead and add your turkey neck, the smoked turkey neck. This is optional, all the meat that I'm using, remember guys, this is how I do my stuff, okay? So, what I also did was I pre-boiled, I had like a half a pack of cold feet that was left back. And I, I, I pre-boiled it um, just because it's a little bit hard. And it, if I had put everything together all at once, what would have happened is the, the all the other meat would have uh, been cooked except for the, the cold food. So, and then now I'm gonna add my pigtail, my salt beef. And already those, I pre-boiled as well to get out all the salt. You're gonna go ahead and add in your onions. Garlic, pimento. I use about five garlic cloves, about five uh, pimento seeds. Here I have some chopped scallion. Some thyme and a whole scotch bonnet pepper, that's a must. I'm gonna add just a small amount of water just to have it covering everything that I have here in the pot. you're gonna do now is just cover this and allow it to boil and you'll see what happens next all right so let's take a look and see what's going on here so pretty much guys <clears throat> there's not much that you're gonna really be required to do at this point besides monitor this pepper you do not want this to burst okay because if it does, then your food is going to be too spicy, all right? So after a while, I'm going to remove it. Occasionally, you just want to check to make sure that there's still water in it. And just to check your meat. You notice that it's coming into its own color right now. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to cover it. Go about my business. And occasionally check it eventually it's gonna start getting thick and have the consistency that you are looking for all right so let's just allow it to cook and do its thing for right now all right so we're about to oh on oh on a little bit in so let's take a look at what's going on so it has the consistency no it don't necessarily have that red color that I'm looking for just yet but my peas is still not cooked. My meat is is almost cooked. So guys, you just want to use your fork and um, stick the meat just to see. I want it a little bit more tender, so I'll just go ahead and cover it and allow it to finish cooking. All 
right, guys. So we're, we're almost um, to the end of our stew peas, but now I'm gonna be adding in some spinners, which is some dumpling. I made this from flour. So I just made, um, I'm gonna make about, you know, a few of these just to add into my stew peas here. It's not as red as I would like it to be. I don't know what's going on with the peas, but it has the flavor and that's all that matters right, right now for me. So, sometimes coffee, sometimes tea. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to make these uh, spinners as we call them. Your stew peas is not complete unless you have this in there. Then after that, what I'm gonna do is um, do another taste test. Um, it tastes fine to me. I just wanna go ahead and add in the last touches, as I said. Cover it down for about a few more minutes, allow the dumplings to cook. And then there you have it. Your stew peas is good to go, guys. All right, I'm just adding in like a tablespoon of uh, butter. And some chopped chilean. Oops. It's very thick. It has the thickness that I'm looking for, guys. It has the flavor. For those of you who might ask, I don't use um, coconut milk in my stew peas. That's my. Um, preference still tastes good to me there's no powder seasoning added just what you see here natural seasoning and the meat that's it mm -hmm. has all the flavors that i need the different meat i know a lot of people might say oh i should put so much different type of meat as i said this is how i do it i've always done it this way not all the time I'll go with the cow food. If I have it, I'll use it. But it gives it a nice gummy consistency. So if you've never tried it, try it. Don't knock it till you try it. It's really, really tasty. We're going to have this with some white rice. And uh, we're going to go ahead and have it cooked down for another five minutes or so. And we are good to go, guys. tuning into another one of my videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!